Hey Cancer, so I'm here to do your January 2021 reading. Um, this is going to be general, so only take what resonates with you. Um, understand that free will is always at play, so you can make any decision that you want to make, and others can too. So we're going to kind of take a look and see what's going to be um, occurring with you guys. <clears throat> so let's see what we've got here. Cancer. Everybody's kind of getting that solitude. I feel like a lot of people are trying to break away from something um, to spend time with themselves. Um, we have the solitude. That's the first card there. <clears throat> we have courage. So maybe a lot of you are trying to be strong when you're disconnecting from something. Or trying to be strong in some type of decision that you're needing to make. Um, we have power here. So basically the ball is in your court. Whatever decision you have to make about a situation, the ball is in your court. You're just needing to kind of remove yourself from all the hustle and bustle. And really try to figure out what decision you want to make about this. Um, because like I said, this involves courage and power. So you have the power to make any change that you want. And with this courage, it's like you have to be strong because you know that... This is going to cause some type of turbulence in your life, whatever decision that you're making or that you're is on your mind right now. Um, we have illumination. So some of you have come to the realization that something has been brought to your attention about something. Let's see if we can do um, truth, some type of honest truth about yourself, maybe, or someone else that you're dealing with. So let's go ahead and see what this is about. And this is for January, so in like the next couple weeks, <laughs> like two weeks of them, right? Yeah, I think it's two weeks. What does Cancer need to know about this situation? All right, so we have unrequited love. So there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this is somebody that you're on and off with all the time. Maybe it's making a final decision about them or maybe they're making a final decision about you. Um, we also have wedding. <laughs> so this is about um, this situation involves marriage. So some of you could be having someone that is making a decision to marry you or this is a decision, um, not a decision, this is somebody that you have been off and on with who is actually married. Maybe they're choosing to marry someone else or maybe they were married all along. Um, we have very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is about you having that power and choice to make on what direction that you want to take. So do you want to stay in a side piece type of energy? Because that's what I'm feeling. I have to be honest with myself about what I feel. Um, we also have this courage. So a lot of you are needing to find the courage to walk away from this person. Some of you are needing to find the courage to walk away from a marriage that is not fulfilling to you. And it's something that needs to be done like kind of ASAP, immediately. Because you're in, for those of you who are married, you're in a relationship with someone that does not really love you or love you the way that you deserve to be loved. Um, we have true love here. So this is the romance of a lifetime. So this is somebody that you thought was going to last forever. Someone that you really thought was the right one for you. And it's kind of like these cards are showing that there's something else out there. So maybe after you end things with this individual, whether they're lying to you <clears throat> about having a marriage um, in and out of your life whenever they find it convenient for them, uh, when they get lonely, because that's kind of what solitude is too, you might actually find your true love. Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? For January 2021. Oops, I knew that was going to happen before. Okay, Cancer. The plot digits. Alright, so we have Download Lover. 
we have karmic partner and then we have pregnancy at the bottom we have what's the tea bitch so people are in your business about this situation what i'm seeing here um some of you cancers out there may actually have been a secret so like i said earlier some of you may have been a side piece or a side person to someone that was already committed um this was a karmic partner so this was somebody that you needed to learn a lesson from um the whole purpose of these karmic relationships is to learn something about yourself um this is somebody that you kept going back and forth with they kept going back and forth with you and there's a possibility that one of you could actually be pregnant by this person who's married and i'm not judging anybody i'm just seeing what the cards are here <clears throat> for those of you who are married already to this individual who have the unrequited love because i think of like also player energy with that someone in and out of your life uh, whenever it suits them they may have gotten involved with a karmic type of person that they were keeping hidden from you and got this person pregnant so take it however it is you cancer could be the one pregnant by someone that was married or cancer you could have been married to someone who got someone pregnant so i say you could switch those um energies like that and people are wanting to know what you're planning on doing with this situation what does it need to know about this I know I'm so violent with my cards. Uh, all right, so again, I've seen this in the Virgo reading. So someone here still feels like there's hope in this connection. So I don't know if it's the person um, that's the side piece or the wife that feels like there's still hope or something to salvage here is what I'm getting. Um, we also have evidence. So someone knew that someone was married or someone knew that their partner was cheating. I'm trying to say both stories here and I know it sounds confusing. So if you have to like re rewind or pause, that's fine. But because um, I don't know how else to say it, I'm saying it as it's coming to me. So yeah, someone knew that there was some type of cheating going on. So if, as a wife, if you're the cancer wife, you knew that your husband or wife was cheating. If you were the side piece, you knew that the person was married. So it goes both ways. We have drained. So for whoever this is, Cancer, someone here is very stressed out about this situation. I'm feeling like it's like too much to take in. It's too much to deal with. Um, someone, all because someone here wanted to have their cake and eat it too. So a married person wanted to be able to have someone on the side and also have a commitment at home waiting for them whenever they want it. So basically a selfish type of individual. I feel like, and I'm sorry that I, I'm saying masculine. I feel like there's a masculine here that was the one doing the creeping. And I feel like this person got kicked out. So some of you kicked this person out of your home because you found this information out about them cheating. I don't know if you know about pregnancies or anything yet, but there's something that's tugging on you that you may actually know. So you kicked your husband or wife out of the home and they're staying in a hotel or they were creeping in a hotel meeting someone in the hotel <clears throat> you guys can also you know i didn't say this on the other one but when uh, readings like this general readings get a little confusing it's always good to get a personal reading um or even read for yourself to determine where this like information makes sense for you um but we have dedications here so somebody here loves music. Uh, maybe someone dedicated something to someone or uh, promised something that they never were able to, never were able to deliver. Maybe this person plays music too. Um, we have flirting here. So there was a lot of flirting between you and this individual, and this is more so for the, and I don't want to say side piece. I'll say the other woman or other men. So there was a lot of flirting in between. Um, problems that 
the married person was having. So the married person was flirting with the this uh, person on the side. All right, so what does Cancer need to know about this situation? What does Cancer need to know about this situation? I can control everyone but you. So maybe um, someone here was trying to be controlled uh, to continue on something that they weren't comfortable with. Or to continue a marriage. And that goes the same way. Continue the marriage even though they were cheating. So someone here was trying to control the situation. You're naturally be beautiful. I'm about to say beautiful. <laughs> so someone does find you attractive here. They like your naturalness. So they probably went after someone that was fake. Um, someone on the side who maybe just had to use other enhancements to make themselves look beautiful or appealing to someone. Um, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. So there was passion there in the beginning. Or there was passion that connected you guys together. I want to tell you the truth. I'm scared. So this person is afraid to tell you the truth about this pregnancy. <clears throat> so someone wants to come clean about their extramarital affairs. Or that they were involved in a situation that wasn't the best. We have stalker alert. So this could be the pregnant woman on the side watching or it could be the wife watching the pregnant woman. We have control freak. So again, that goes along with that once their cake and eats it too. Um, so definitely someone was a controlling in this relationship that you were in. <laughs> this is so confusing. I know what I'm saying, but it's hard to keep jumping back and forth. Um, manipulation is my specialty so the person here somebody was manipulative I love you so someone did develop feelings but yeah someone manipulated things to get what they wanted so that goes along with that um, masculine type of energy that I'm picking up on who wanted to have everything they didn't care I have been hurt before so this is some a conversation that somebody has had. This isn't even the wife that I'm picking up. This is this side person. They had a conversation with a masculine telling them that, hey, I've been hurt before. This is not something that I want to do. So maybe you came clean, whoever the side person is, came clean about this situation and decided to take their power back and end whatever this connection was that was going on. Uh, mind games are being played. So yes, this person is playing lots of games and it's a masculine again emotionally unavailable so i said that earlier with that unrequited love um this could be someone you're married to that you just never had a connection emotional connection with or it started to fail and you started to notice that there was no emotions within the connection and then we have i'm toxic so you're dealing with some um energy that is very toxic this is somebody that probably never wanted to get married i don't know if this is uh they married out of convenience or something or maybe there was love at some point and it just changed to where you didn't feel like this person was really in it for the long run and we have strong so this goes along with that courage so someone here is needing to be strong and look i think i got her pregnant was right underneath that so definitely there's a pregnancy here karma's in the building <laughs> like it just keeps coming stock mode and then we have masculine. So yeah, the masculine got a side piece pregnant while they were already in a committed relationship or marriage. Um, they're very toxic. I feel like you may have dodged a bullet. So I'm not really picking up that you have children. If you're the married person that you have children with this individual. But you're needing to be strong because obviously you guys were married or in some type of commitment. And you can, you can put this wherever you need to because I'm getting two stories still. There's a side piece and then there's the, the wife. <clears throat> and like I said, it's very confusing to keep back and forth. So, you know, I'm trying to make it make sense the best that I can. But there is a pregnancy involved here. So the wife could be pregnant. The 
side person could be pregnant but this person definitely was cheating on you um they were meeting this person in hotels it had you feeling drained and stressed out and you still hope that there's you know a way for you to come back together with this person but i feel like all of this will be revealed very soon um if you don't already know oops what was this yeah we have four pinnacles let's try to pop out so somebody needs to let this go someone needs to let go of this um because it's not something that's going to be stable for you let me put this right here what does cancer need to know for January? Page of Cups. So there's going to be some type of surprise. And it's probably going to be this pregnancy that's a surprise to you. Um, it could be you that's pregnant. Or the side person is pregnant. But it's going to be something that's a surprise. Something you weren't expecting. Um, we have the Five of Cups here. So someone is having regrets. This could be the masculine having regrets about what they did only because it got caught or it's a situation that now involves a child or someone here is depressed because that's my depression card so someone's thinking something wrong with them in this situation and that's not the truth um we have four of wands in reverse so definitely a marriage that has crumbled it's not a happy home it's not a stable home so this is not a positive relationship that you need to be in so i'm speaking to the person that is actually married that's going through this um we have the magician in reverse so this is about manipulation Someone manipulated a marriage um, to get things that they wanted. So this masculine manipulated the wife in ways that the wife kind of felt like maybe they weren't good enough and kind of accepted it. And I'm not saying that you accept someone cheating, but that's a form of abuse. So this person, a uh, masculine, was very abusive to the woman that they were married to. But we have strength here in reverse and so with this strength card being in reverse some of you could be dealing with i don't really call signs but water sign earth sign fire sign you guys are a water sign cancer so this strength in reverse i feel like somebody here is not feeling like they can move on or let or let this go and that's where the courage comes in. Some of you are going to need to have the courage to walk away from something that you feel was stable at one point or that you feel still has some type of hope. Especially if someone had a child out of wedlock. That is something that, not out of wedlock, because people have that all the time, including me. But I'm talking about out of the marriage is what I meant to say. If someone has a child out of the marriage, it is not far-fetched that you can work on it. But this individual masculine here is very like just ugly spirited. I'm surprised the devil card didn't come out because it's like very toxic type of energy. We have the seven of swords. So there's a lot of betrayal and sneakiness. This person cannot be trusted. So this is like an eye opener. They're after sex. That's why they went to this person. This ace of wands has popped out. They were passionate about getting sex from someone else. They wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it too. Queen of Pentacles. You were the st stable one in their life. You were stable. You offered this person um, stability. And I don't think it's even a money thing that they needed from you. You offered them stability and nurturing. And now it's like you guys are starting to realize and let the veil fall and see things for what they are. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. Because it's Ten of Swords. This person stabbed you in the back and they went against their marriage. Nine of Wands. A lot of you are defensive now. You know, trying to either rebuild your confidence back or get things back in order there's not a swords is here so that means that some fast communication is going to be coming in or some clarity something that you're going to find out but the will of fortune is here so that means that it's going to be a positive outcome for you <clears throat> so let's clarify these okay. Why is the four of pentacles in reverse? You know what? I think I'm going to go to the store. I don't know if I want to go tomorrow or... No, I'm going to go on Wednesday. Okay, I know. That was side I got sidetracked. Sorry. All right, so why is the four of pentacles here? 
I get very passionate in my readings because when this stuff comes out, it starts making me feel upset for the person. So when I start raising my voice, that's why. Um, but we have the three of swords in reverse. So definitely it's going to be hard for you to heal yourself and let go of this pain that this person has caused you. Um, that's clarifying the four of pentacles in reverse. So it's like you're letting go of this person and all of their pain that they provided, uh, brought to you. Five page of cups here. Oops. So we have the tower in reverse. So this is clarifying page of cups. So like I said, there's going to be some type of uh, surprise or something shocking that is going to disrupt everything. But the fact that the tower is in reverse, it's kind of like you already prepared yourself for this because you kind of already knew what was going on. So it's like now you have the extra confirmation and now you can start um, beginning to heal yourself and rebuild. Why is the five of cups here? We have the wheel of fortune in reverse. So this person brings you nothing but pain, anguish, and sadness. So that's just clarifying how this person makes you feel. Five of Cups is about emotions. This is emotions of regretting things in your past, not realizing that there's positive things coming forward. So sometimes with tower moments, things happen for a reason. And that's my always been my model. Everything happens for a reason because this is a time for you to step up and distance yourself from this masculine who's very toxic. And all they have is negativity surrounding them. Why is the Four of Wands in reverse? Yep, we have the moon here. So the four of wands is in reverse because this person was hiding secrets from this marriage. They were not being truthful and honest and they weren't willing to work on it. They were going and stepping out of the marriage and that was making it unstable. It wasn't a happy relationship or marriage, I should say. And if you weren't married, maybe it's just a relationship. So take it for whatever it is. Why is the magician in reverse here? We have the nine of swords in reverse. So I feel like a lot of you were dealing with this manipula manipulative energy from this masculine. You guys are starting to find your way out. You're not going to allow their manipulative, ma manipulative ways to stress you out. Why is strength in reverse here? Oops. Yep. So strength in reverse is clarified by the two of cups. So this was somebody that you actually joined with, had a commitment with, that you seen as your soulmate. And it's like, you're going to have to be strong. A lot of you don't feel like you're strong enough to move on from this person. It's like you're lacking the courage and the strength to move on. And I do feel like that's something that's going to be, you're going to be contemplating in January. I feel like you know that you have to make a decision soon about this. And so does this person, because if someone's pregnant, I don't know how far along they could be pregnant. Um, but if this person is pregnant, it is going to come out. And that's going to help you make this decision that you need to make. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, this is not something that you want to keep putting your energy into. It's not going to be a happy decision that you're going to have to make to walk away from someone that you are committed to. But by walking away... You're no longer going to have conflicts because this five of wands is in, is in the reverse. You're not going to be arguing with this person. You're not going to have to have that heavy energy on you. You're going to be able to balance things out. You're going to make decisions. You have a decision to make about somebody that's been shady. So <laughs> seven of swords is showing itself again. So there's a lot of betrayal and hidden things in this connection. So cancer, that is you guys' is reading for January. If it made sense to you, please let me know. Um like comment share subscribe and i do read people's comments so i enjoy doing that but hopefully everything will work out for you in this situation and i will catch you guys in the next video